Maki, I'm about to die, yo, come on. Oh! I made 99 nights in the forest, but on scratch. In case you don't understand the game, the rules are simple. Stranded in the forest, you must explore to find resources, rescue the missing children, and most importantly, gather wood to keep your fire lit. But if you fail, you won't be alone for long. The game takes place in the forest, so I started drawing the tiles. I wanted these to spawn on the grid, just like the actual game. But when I tested it out, it worked. But I ran into a huge problem. You see in Scratch, the clone limit for every game is about 300 clones. And since I'm using this system to replicate the tiles, expanding the map further will break the game. So I started recoding how tiles work. Now every time the player moves, there will only ever be 9 tiles rendered, which overall solved the clone limit. But if you keep walking through the map, you will start to see nothing. So I started texturing the map. I put grass, rocks, and bushes all around the tile, just like the regular game. Alright, now this looks more like 99 nights, I can't lie. But even though I loved how our terrain tiles turned out, I forgot to add a crucial oh. element that emerges from the soil. So I started drawing the carrot. I tried to make it look as original and as close to the game as possible. But at the end of my drawing, I got this. Yeah, this looks absolutely cheeks, bro. So I got back to designing, and this time, it's all triangles. Which, overall, made it look better. Even though we got the carrot down, I still feel like something from the map is missing. So I started drawing the campfire, which was supposed to be located in the middle of the map. This was difficult for two reasons. First, the map generates from the top left corner to the bottom right corner, making it difficult to find the metal. The second reason is because I'm just not good at it. Instead, we're just going to use ChatGPT for this. Alright, let's see what he got. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what he's talking about. But after a couple minutes of critical thinking with my brain, I eventually found out how to put the campfire in the middle. But if you keep on showing along this grassy field, you'll notice that there is literally nothing to fuel this campfire that we just made. So I got started on making the trees for the game. My first drawing was a more spear-like tree, but when I searched up what it actually looked like in the game, I changed my mind and replaced everything with a giant rectangle. I went and gave the test out, but this time, the rendering was kinda shaky and off, I can't lie. But even though the rendering's bad, there was another problem that bothered me more. It was that we didn't have a sack to carry the wood with. So I started making the default items for the game, which was the old axe and the old sack. Also, I made this inventory hotbar draggable, so you could configure your inventory however you like, depending on the order of the tools. But other than that, as I walk around, there should be some nice, beautiful scenery of trees. And if you go into them, they go transparent, so they don't block what you're seeing. But even though we only started making the game, I decided to add a workbench down. But I'll get onto that later. For now, I cut the tree so it will actually drop logs when it dies. Now normally, at this point of the game, we would be done with the background. But I realized that 99 Nights have a fog system where it unfogs when you enter a new area. But getting back at coding, I had a genius solution. What if instead of creating a whole entire new fog system, we just used the set ghost effect on the tiles. And after going in game to test it out, it looked pretty good, I can't lie. I love how it looks so similar to the actual game. But after taking a stroll through these grassy tiles, I realized that most of the things in the games are pretty stagnant. So I decided to add the bunny from 99 Nights into the game. I got back to the editor and start drawing the carrot either. I'm mainly using rectangles here because 99 knights also make their bunnies a cube of fur. But after a while drawing, it actually turned out pretty good. But when I tested the game out, it was a nightmare. The bunnies would just spawn in the middle. This is bad because no items are supposed to spawn in the middle. And also, they're not even moving. This problem got so bad not because of the stuff I listed. It was because of the spawning system I made beforehand. This got so bad that I had to stop using ChatGPT and jump onto Deep Sea, which overall didn't even help that much. So now, I have to delete the whole spawning system because I don't know what the bug is. And just redo it from scratch because this is just what scratch is at this point. Alright, after like 5 hours of coding, I think I finally got the formula down. As you can see, the bunny no longer spawns in the middle and I also give him some idle animation. Come on, this definitely deserves a sub, bro. Like, if you're not subbed already, please, bro. Please, speed, I need this. But remember when I said I was going to get back at the workbench? Yeah, I have no idea what the crafting menu looks like. So I decided to open the stream back when I was actually playing the game to learn about all the stuff that I need to make. So we need a double-sided transparent background. Huh? Something like this. Since the back of it is kind of see-through, but the middle isn't. There was also some type of highlight near the top, so we'll also add that too. But after drawing for a while, I was wondering what the heck is this red crystal gem at the top. I couldn't find the emoji, 
I never even seen this in the game before, and I don't know what it's for either. So if y'all know how to find this in the game and what it's for, just leave a comment, bro. But getting back to it, I found myself into another problem. There's just too much stuff to add to the bench. And after many minutes of deciding, I only decided to add tier 1. If y'all subscribe right now, I'll make another video on this game. But even though now that we got the workbench and bunny in the game, we basically got a basic survival game down. But now, I think it's time to spice it up a bit. We're going to be adding wild wolves that spawn in the game. I first started drawing the body of the wolf and gave it some tiny legs. I painted the middle a little darker and boom, we got a wolf down, guys. Back to coding, I made them move and bite if you get too close. They low-key do a lot of damage, so you really gotta watch out for them. Although I loved how the wolves turned out, there's one thing missing from this game that every other survival game has, which is a day and night cycle. I started by drawing the nighttime effects and the campfire effects when you're near the fire. And now, when it's close to nighttime, the effects should show up on the screen, making your game 10 times more spookier. Also, I added a day counter at the top so you can see what day you're on. But overall, I really liked how the effects turned out in the game. But anyways, if you walk up to the campfire while it's nighttime, it'll fully light up the map around you, giving you a better vision yeah. of your surroundings. The same goes for exiting the campfire. But if you have a good eye, you may catch that currently if you enter the campfire without it being lit, it'll still light up. So I got back to placing a couple more if else blocks to the code. And now when you walk into the campfire, it'll only light up in the dark if it's lit. And if it goes out, yeah, you're basically cooked, buddy. But you're not so cooked yet because we haven't added our biggest performer of the night, which is that weird creepy dare from 99 nights. I start constructing the dare to match the game as much as possible, trying to match all the positions of the body parts, and boom, we got the face done. I think this looks pretty similar, I can't lie. As for the body, it was pretty tricky to sculpt out since I have to match these weird pointy parts near its arm and body. But after a couple minutes of sculpting this out, it actually looked pretty decent, I can't lie. But now that we completed the drawing for the dare, we can now start animating him, which turned out pretty nicely, I can't lie. If I saw this in the forest, I would be running for my life. But after many minutes, of putting pieces of code together, I tested out the final product of this creature, and not gonna lie, this should low-key look terrifying. Now that we got all the stuff done for our game, it basically matches the original 99 nights in the forest, except for the missing children. I'll call that my next video, if this video does good. But moving on, our last step to see if this really mimics the real game is to test it out. Ooh, okay, we gotta start. Hurry up. Oh, chest? Alright, what we got? Revolver? Nice. Let's start by chopping these trees down real quick. And we're already getting hungry. Come on, tree. Please be... Alright, let's go. Store my sack? Yeah, you're coming with me. Alright, let's see what's in this. What did I get? I got a good sack. Let's go. Alright, let's eat these carrots. Getting a little hungry. Alright. Ooh, I should low-key save the wood for night nighttime, I can't lie. Okay, got old flashlight. Nice, nice, nice. Should low-key kill this bunny over here. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. Alright, we got that. Oh, we got, ooh, gasoline. Let's go all the way back here. Nice. Oh, we got another gasoline. Let's go. Upgrade, upgrade. Alright, the map has expanded. Pretty sure. Oh my, the wolves are coming. Oh, what's up, what's up, what's up? Yeah. Get out of here. 4 HP, get out of here, oh, steak, oh yeah, burn that, burn that, search the map, oh, no, 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 don't, don't get me wolves, wolves are too dangerous, alright, what's over here, another gasoline, I gotta stop sprinting, I can't lie, that's, that, oh, oh no, the deer is coming, the deer is coming, I gotta get ready, oh my, he's right there, he's right there, I see him, I see him, alright, stay away there, I'm in, I'm in my base, get out, get out of here, oh, oh, yeah, stay away from me, buddy, Stay away from me. Yeah, look at this dude, bro. This sucker really think he's scaring me. Hell no, bro. I'm in my fire, bro. Chilling. Get out of here, there. Get out of here. Kind of want to make the day go by faster. Let's see. Old bed, bunny trap. I don't really need any of those. I can't lie. I'm just here because I'm here. Huh? Alright. Oh, what? What? Oh. Dear, bro. Please, dear. Freeze. 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 Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here, dear. No match for me. Uh oh. Corner of the map. I wonder when he's coming. Oh, my, he's right there. Freeze. Freeze. Oh, yeah, get out of here. Freeze. Oh, yeah, get out of here. Too easy. Oh, what's up? What's up? What's up? Oh. Oh, oh, he's, he's slashing me. He's slashing me. What's up? <laughs> Yo, it's a little too fast. Eat all of this. Yeah, I'm sure you want this yummy ass food, bro. But you can't. Oh, what's happening? Oh. Let's see if we can outrun the deer. Pretty sure we could. 
Okay, we oh my okay, we're no 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 we're not outrunning the deer anytime soon. Okay. I think if we just sprint we can outrun the deer. What's good? What's good? <laughs> I can't even kill him. Oh he's pretty close. Oh okay, okay, yeah, we gotta eat. We gotta eat. Oh my okay, I'm about to die. Yo, please speed I need this. Please deer. Come on. Oh my god! <laughs> 